I-10 on and off ramps in Henderson are once again open after being closed for hours. Now they were reopened just a few minutes ago and tonight we're getting a closer look at the damage. Threes on the street tonight are Jordan Lippincott at the roundabout with a look at those conditions. Jordan. There are still areas of very high water. Police and DOTD are still out here. If you are in the area, drive with caution. People out here tell us this area is prone to flooding, but they've never seen it this bad. After heavy rains, what they call the big ditch along Highway 352 turns into this. Along Highway 352, once the water overrides the road, you don't know about this big ditch. And that big ditch right here is about eight, nine feet. If somebody rolls into it, the whole family could drown. It's something we're trying to prevent. Henderson Mayor Sherbin Collette says the problem is made worse by the new roundabouts near I-10. As of right now, we have probably about three and a half feet of water beneath the roundabouts. The mayor says DOTD is working to correct the problem, and he has a few ideas himself. It can't, it can't handle the volume of water coming to it. We need another exit for the water. I recommend it to the DOTD along the interstate. You could slope it in, and slope it to the true canal. Maybe let a foot of water pass there. It would pretty much solve the flooding problem. Again, the on and off ramps are now open, but if this is part of your commute, be aware of the high water. Three's on the street, live in Henderson, Jordan Lippincott, KETC TV3. Another